I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise it shall continually be in my mouth. What's going on, everybody? God bless you. I pray all is well with everybody. My title says, I look for things to get worse. Update for 2013. As the Lord say the same, we see we getting toward the end of this year. We are already in October. And if the Lord say the same in his will, we'll see 2014. And we don't know the day or the hour when Christ will return. But we do know that he will return. A few years back, or exactly about five, no, about four years ago, I said in the video that things was going to get so terrible when we hit 2013. Psalms say, JT, you must be some kind of prophet, man. What you said, everything you said, no, nah, let me stop everybody right there. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a prophet. I'm nobody's bishop. I'm nobody's apostle. I'm just a servant. I'm a child of God who studies the word. And I said exactly in four years, watch what's going to happen with the government. P.P. Drawings been saying the same thing. Big Brother Mitty Man been saying the same thing for I don't know how long now. And here it is that we in 13. See, a lot of people, we in 2013, a lot of people got very frustrated when I did that video. But the ones that got real mad at me was the rapture believers pre-trib believers but one thing I'm glad I can sit here and say on camera now that it has been a lot of people that have woke up now and starting to realize that the word of God is the word of God and it's happening it's lining up just like the word of God says oh I be made fun of every day I have a lot of people laugh at me make fun of me call me false prophets but y'all know what I'm going to do when the Lord allows me to wake up? Keep spreading the word. I'm not worried about who's making fun of me, who's laughing, because now, same ones that was laughing, not, a lot of them not laughing too much no more, because some of their family members is being murdered overseas. Let me let me get real in this video. Some of their daughters done been kidnapped, raped. When you look at overseas, what's going on, and you keep talking about all this pre trib crap, a lot of people done, done woke up now. And they start apologizing for making fun of me. Some apologize and I say, you ain't hurting me. See, the, people got to understand, you're not hurting me when you talking about me and coming up against me and don't, don't believe the word of God. You're hurting yourself. Because there's going to come a time when every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he is Lord. I can't get mad at folks for what they don't want to believe in. But I know one thing for sure, my brothers and sisters. This word of God is live, and it's hitting hard right now, and it's going to continue to get worse. One of my partners told me a long time ago, I hate when Christians say that. I hate when Christians act like it ain't no hope. But see, when I say this, people don't understand why I say this. When I say it's going to get worse before it get better, I'm talking about what Jesus said. Now, if you don't want to believe in what Jesus said, yes, I'm a child of the Most High. I believe in the Word of God. But I also know that it's going to get worse before it get better. That's a promise. That's the Word. The Antichrist comes first. A lot of people don't understand this. Christians, children of the Lord, you will suffer. Even though some of y'all want to keep talking about an escape route. You will go through trials and tribulation. We living in tribulations right now, but we not in that great tribulation. See, we, we ain't seen nothing yet. Let us keep living. So all of that stuff I said about four years ago, it happened. Look at the government shutdown. Now they, oh, they done opened it back up now. When I talked about what was going to happen in the churches, now everybody... You know, a lot of people mad at the preachers in L.A. What you mad for? I told y'all these days was coming. Why the bishops is doing this? Why people are doing this? Why you not studying is the question. Stop being shocked at what you see 
inside of the church buildings because the churches in Hollywood look no different right about now. But not everybody's church, not everybody's looking like this, not every pastor is bad. I'd be a fool for saying that because I don't know everybody, I ain't met everybody. But I know it's a lot of jacked up things and jacked up people out here. It's a lot of messed up stuff going on. And when I talked about this stuff about four years ago, here it is, 2013. But watch 2014. Look at the crime rate, like I've been saying like P.P. P. Jones been saying, like me the man been saying. Look at the murder. Look at how look at how the Lord is exposing so much right now. And people still don't believe. Look, let me let me say this all the way real. Look at America. And y'all wonder why I say it's gonna get worse and worse for America. It's gonna get worse and worse for the government. Things have to get worse so the Antichrist, whoever the man of sin is, they gotta set up shop so they can bring in the false peace. And that's why most Christians are gonna fall for the false peace because they're waiting to be raptured out by the devil. Yes, I said it. I'm telling you what's real. You don't have to believe me. But to those that they want to check the word of God out and look at what Jesus said, not about what Hollywood said, not about all these writing the books said, but what Jesus said, saints better hold on. As the as the devil continue to try to make war with the saints, see, it's, it's crazy out here, and it's going to get worse. The Lord is showing us, y'all, that's why I wanted to do an update on this video because everything we talked about, PP drawings, everything we talked about, it's in play now. And the other stuff going to come later on. My cousin asked me the other day, bro, why so many Christians giving up? He said, don't they supposed to be Christians? I mean, he don't even believe like, you know, like people believe in the Lord. He just, he trying to get there, but he said, man, what, what, what is it with the Christians, man? Why they giving up? Why are they talking about they waiting on the government to do this? What's going on? Don't they believe in the Lord anymore? I said, go to show you how many Christians, so-called Christians, really have faith, really believe. You wonder why they giving up. But the Bible said many was going to fall away from the faith. So when you look at this, i got to bring this up, P.P. Jones. When you look at this pre-trip, <laughs> That doctor when it's dead as a doorknob. It's dead. Don't you see it already? I know y'all know I'm not telling you nothing. You don't know, brother. This secret stuff, this 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 pre stuff, that doctor when it's already dead. And I'm screaming it loud so the world can hear that doctrine is dead. Just like that dead dog laying in the street down there. That is a dead doctrine in the Word of God has showed us that. If you don't see that now, I don't know what to tell you. Stephen Wonder could see that. And I'm not being funny, y'all. That doctrine is dead. And now you see all these things that's happening on the earth. Now you see why Jesus said immediately after tribulation is when he going to come. I'm coming immediately after that. Quit looking for Hollywood to make the next movie to tell you how it's going to end. Look in your Bible. Time has already showed us, once again, y'all, pre-trip, dead. That's a dead doctrine, y'all. So wake up. Wake up. I'm just having a real talk video right here. That is a dead doctrine, but look at what people are still doing. What they doing, PP drones? Still setting rapture dates. Dude told me in the store the other day, oh man, the rapture going to come in 2015 of December. I said, good luck. Y'all have fun while y'all going to it. I'm going to wait around for Christ to come where he says he's coming on earth. I'm not trying to get snatched away to no secret location. I want to be where he said he was going to be, right here on earth, when the new city, that new holy city, that new Jerusalem, that's where I want to be at. See, the wheat and the tiles, here we go, y'all. It's going to be a separation. That's why when you look in the Bible, you know who left the earth? The wicked ones. Sodom and Gomorrah. Go back to those cities. Wiped out. God made a way. 
Who was left on earth? Noah, his family. Who got on the ark? What happened to the rest of the wicked? Wiped away. What's going to happen in the long run? They're going to get wiped away again. So you better be careful that you don't get wiped away with the wicked while you're waiting on all this wicked secret stuff. Let me move on. I just failed to buy three people. Just cut the video off. I'm just being real, y'all. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up and use this power. The power is prayer. The power of prayer is so awesome. But you can, I'm going to say this again, you can pray all you want. You can speak in tongues, run around a church, foam at the mouth, and do backflip over pews. And you can finish doing all of that, and you're not going to change the word of God. The prophet said it. Jesus taught it. Paul spoke it. John revealed it. So many of them in the Bible talked about these days and revealed it. Y'all know what? Time is coming up. It's coming quicker and quicker than we think. You better get your house in order. And I ain't talking about you going in there moving your TV in the next room. I'm talking about get your house. I'm talking about your house in order. Get your life right. Because it's getting down to who's going to be able to stand. We see how many Christians are already not going to be able to stand because of they falling out behind Obamacare. If you falling for all this cheap stuff right now, I call it cheap stuff. Y'all will catch that later on when I say that. If you falling for it, you better sign up or you're going to get penalized. And you scared to get penalized and you're going to fall for the, for the Antichrist set up, the devil set up, you ain't going to make it. Y'all know what I'm going to do with that Obamacare? I'm going to wipe my butt with it and throw it in the toilet. And I hope they're all listening. I'm being real. I reject. I'm not waiting on what people think I'm waiting on. Like they waiting, waiting on. I told y'all in the video a week ago. I'm in, I'm in the Lord's curve. Not Obama's curve. Penalize me. Do what you got to do to me. Whatever you do to me, you just going to help me cross on over in the glory. I wish we all could be bold and, and, and do things like those old prophets would do, would stand bold, but we see what time it is. It's a time now for weak Christians to get weaker and weaker, but the real saints going to stand bold. That's why Jesus said, few going to be in heaven, y'all. Y'all tired of me talking yet because I got a whole lot to say. I'm trying to cut it short. But it's hard to stop when the Lord shows me and, and tells me what to lay out. And some of y'all don't like how I come out. But that's cool. I'm not like your preacher with a suit on. I'm cool. I'm laid back. I don't have a, a big old building and a fancy car. And, and I'm not on here telling you, you know, send me a blessing. And I'm begging you for this and begging you for that. I'm only on here for one thing. Your soul. I want to tell you about eternal life. I want to tell you that you can be saved. You can be delivered. I'm trying to win souls for the Lord. Not for me to gain no glory, but for the Lord to get all the glory. See, when you use the power of the Lord, the power, the power is awesome. When you live the way the Lord say live, it's awesome. When you reaching out to others, helping the poor and the needy, Doing things right, it's an awesome thing when you use the power. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost power. See, you might see the appearance of power, but what kind of power are you seeing? Because Satan got power also. Satan got blessings also. But I'm talking about real, true Holy Ghost power. Oh, power show up all the time, but you better recognize which power coming your way when it shows up. You better realize what Satan really can do. Satan wants the pastors to stay far and far away from the word. He wants them to keep preaching these pre-trib doctrines and all this mess, these escape routes. But to the saints, he that have a ear, keep listening. All these books, these preachers selling these books and these Hollywood stories and stuff, these fake endings of movies and things that's lied about the Bible, you better wake up and get out of that mess. Stop following other people. 
Stop following your uncle if he ain't right, if he the pastor or, or whoever, your brother-in-law. Stop following these prophets and, and wicked people that ain't doing nothing for the kingdom. That's why you act and do what they do when you stay in these sick environment in these churches that's like this you will become just like them and you're going to be broke just like them you're going to teach a false doctrine just like them and your children are going to wind up just like them get out of this hell get out of this confusion it's time to wake up and do what's right things once again are going to get worse and worse According to the Bible, I feel so sorry for a lot of people in these messed up churches following these messed up leaders. I wonder, I'm closing, but I wonder how a lot of people really read how Jesus felt about those type of churches, especially in the book of Revelation. Have you ever took a look at how he felt about churches like this, preachers like this? It's time to wake up, y'all. We got so many people arguing on who gonna make it to heaven, who ain't gonna make it, who going to hell. They so they so busy concentrating on that, they ain't even getting their own life right. Y'all see what I'm saying? It's gonna get worse. But see what most people is missing is that the bad gotta come. The bad, the evil, the wickedness. It got to come to an end, Brother James, if you're looking at this video. It got to come to an end. But when that comes to an end, it will be time for life to really begin. New life, eternal life. So I don't know about y'all as I close. I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to wait on the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Till the next time, y'all, the Lord say the same. Peace.